So I've normally outsourced my sticker making in the past, as in providing scans of my artwork and sending them out to a company for them to print and cut. Normally I've used awesome merch and they've always done really well for me. I've also gone the more labour intensive route of hand cutting my own stickers with scissors individually which takes forever so I finally decided to invest in a cutting machine so I can hopefully save my hands and save some time but still have control over the sticker making process without having to send it out to someone else to be made and the reason that I wanted to do this is that I'm thinking of offering um, sticker sets and individual stickers as rewards on Patreon as part of like a reward bundle every month and I was thinking about how it was going to work logistically and uh, right, sorry if I'm out of breath. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, logistically I was trying to figure out how that would work, outsourcing it, because obviously with Patreon the amount of people that will want the specific reward bundles is going to change every month probably, so outsourcing it just wouldn't really make sense, like I would never know how many I'm supposed to be ordering, so it made sense to invest in a sticker cutting machine finally. And also I considered like hand cutting them myself, like kiss cutting them, because you can um, cut stickers out of a sheet like this and not cut all the way through. I've got this um, like cutting tool that I can do that with by hand. But I was also thinking just the amount that I might have to do, um, whether or not I'd be compromising on the quality of what people are gonna get if I'm doing that over and over and over again for several sticker sheets. So anyway, after a lot of research into what sticker cutting machine might meet my needs, I landed on the Silhouette Cameo 4. I'd actually been researching it for a year plus, so I'd originally wanted the Cameo 3, um, and when I decided on that after loads and loads of comparisons, I didn't get it right away, and the uh, Cameo 4 hadn't even been announced yet, but by the time I came round to buying the Cameo 3, um, the Cameo 4 had just come out and I found it impossible to find a Cameo 3 anywhere somehow, so quickly. Uh, so I had to wait a little while to see how the Cameo 4 compared, how it fared, because uh, I didn't want to just suddenly jump on that one after having done no research on it whatsoever. So here we finally are, I did finally buy it. But of course I have never used anything like this, so I thought I would share my first steps into this whole process. Obviously not a tutorial, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is just going to be a vlog of me trying, possibly slash probably failing to figure this all out. So let's start at first with the sticker designs themselves. The theme for this month's reward bundle is going to be Vintage Botanical, so this is going to get turned into a sticker set um, and these will be individual stickers. I think I might just edit out that twig because I think it takes away and that on its own I think would make a really cool sticker. So these are the designs that I'm going to scan in for print. Also for scanning in and printing, these are going to get turned into prints that will get sent out. And then these original paintings, actually, for anyone that wants them, will get sent out as well, um, just as they are. But let's focus on the stickers first. I painted my nails earlier and I really <laughs> do not like this colour, but we're going to go with it. I'm just doing my usual digital cleanup of the scans, isolating the artwork from the plain white background. On the sticker sheet, I'm also just going to give each sticker a white border and add a coloured background to the sheet itself, just for aesthetics, honestly. And I'll save each element separately, including the background. I'll have that as a separate layer, I guess. And I think the software that comes with the silhouette allows you to quite easily select the elements that you want to be cut out, but I don't know for sure. So I'll just save everything separately as PNG files, just so that I can keep a transparent background on it. That'll just make it easier to move things around and position them and get as many on a single piece of paper as I can. Right, 
all done finally that took way longer than I thought it would but everything's cleaned up now I've saved it all to the cloud so that I can access all of those files at the office which is where my cutting machine and is where I'm heading now okay here we are and here it is honestly I don't really know where to start um I've grabbed myself some lunch because I'm starving and I've remembered Sarika had a really, Sarika from Sarika Studio, she has a YouTube channel and an Etsy shop among other things um, and she's actually sent me some of her stickers before but she has a video on YouTube about how she makes her stickers and from what I remember it's really in depth, she uses the silhouette Cameo 3 I think so I'm gonna eat my lunch, check out that video, see if it helps me out just to see if I can learn a little something about what I should be doing. Okay, that helped quite a bit. I have the software open here, um, and she started with a rounded rectangle that was, I think, five by seven. I'm already so confused. Um, right, I'm gonna download my sticker files, and then it looked like she just dragged in the background. Oh, yes, that did work. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, this is a lot more intuitive than I expected it to be. Uh, okay, I'm feeling hopeful now. So I'm just gonna start dragging in the individual stickers then, I guess. I'm glad I did put them on separate files because it looks like <laughs> that helped. Okay, um, why has that happened then? Let's, let's do that again. Let's get the back background on yeah and then maybe if I deselect that background layer drag in one of the stickers no why I don't, I don't understand oh if I put it over here yeah is that in okay and then if I put it over okay okay cool that makes sense so I'm just gonna start adding in all my stickers. I look around as I'm viewing the city. Skyscrapers and bridges, bright lights, fast life, Manhattan living. Cross over downtown, welcome to the concrete. The Nets to Barclays, the Mets to Yankees. Ubers in yellow taxis. And while I'm fitted with some butters, we her savvy. When tight jeans was baggy from JFK to LaGuardia. Okay, that's everything in and in place. I think that looks okay. Now I think it's about to get a little bit more difficult because it's all about cut lines now. So I'm going to give this one a different colour because I want that one to cut all the way through. I'll make that blue. Right, if I select this whole thing, um, what's this? Trace? And up the threshold. Okay, I've kind of got something there. I lowered the threshold on the um, tracing tool and it did give me an outline of the shape. I can just see loads of different little dots that I don't really want there. These stamps, I'm gonna have to work out how to do my own outline on here. But everything else looks okay. I've just offset the cut line now um, away from the actual design, but still within this white line, I might if I can get it a tiny bit closer. We'll see, we'll see if that <laughs> um, does anything. We'll see if that's okay. Is that, is that done? Okay, and now I need to get rid of these cut lines, yeah? Did that get rid of all of the I think it did. I think that got rid of the different cut lines that I didn't want in there. How do I... It's really difficult to just click on the thing that you want to click on. Okay. Okay. There is a way I know um, to edit the lines that you already have in there because some of these need like stretching out but one of these, maybe? 
No. This? Oh yeah, this one maybe. That looks right. Oh yeah, okay. But I wish there was a way to kind of lock the layer below so you're not moving things around so much, willy-nilly. I suppose you just have to be really careful and pay attention to what you're actually clicking on. I somehow feel like there must be an easier way to do this, but for now, this is the best I can do. This is a test, of course, so that's what I'm here for. I'm learning about what I need to learn more about, basically. And I think the only way to really get to know a software like this or anything new is to just dive in and make a mess, which is what I'm doing right now. And, you know, just make mistakes so you know what you should be looking into and what you should be trying to figure out. Okay, that is, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I feel like I'm, I'm getting the hang of this. Um, so that's all my cut lines in. I think that's okay. And then I can move this back here and can I just duplicate it? Yeah. So this would be when I print and cut it, but what I'm gonna do, because I need to figure out my cutting settings, like the depth that I need it to be. So I'm gonna make a new file um, with something really simple and I'm just gonna test out some cutting depths, I guess. confused. I clearly have something wrong because I don't think it's cutting through at all. I can see where it's kind of sliding across the paper but there's no cut in the paper whatsoever and I'm starting to think that maybe I don't even have a blade in here but I don't know how to be able to tell if I do. Yeah I'm gonna do some tinkering. It might take a while but wish me luck. Okay here's the thing right. I've got this shape here to cut out and I've got it programmed at the moment for cardstock, just because I want it to do it as hard as possible. These are the settings. Then I have it set up over here to cut. There's the blade in there. Paper here. And if I click send, you can see it does do something. It thinks it's doing something. And it did that in the shape that I want it to cut out. But then, there's literally nothing here. I know it's like something really simple, like I need to untick a box or something, or change how the file is set up. But this is taking forever, and I'm losing the light, and I really wanted to have at least one sticker sheet made by the end of the day, just so that I could I don't know, rest easily knowing that I've got it figured out. But all I can do is keep fiddling with the settings, keep trying every different thing that I can. Hopefully I'll figure it out today. It cannot be that complicated. I know it's just one thing that I'm doing wrong. I think I figured it out. Um, and I knew it'd be something simple, so it looks like I've just um, pushed this thing in here and that has locked in the blade, I believe. So didn't see that on any instructions. Obviously I didn't uh, pay enough attention, but I'm hoping that this is gonna make the difference. Okay, okay, this is it. Oh my god, yes. Okay, yeah, that has actually cut through now. I'm not sure if it's cut all the way through, but it's actually at least made some kind of 
Oh my god, yes. Okay, yes, I have a sticker. That only took me, what, two hours? And you know what? I think the setting that I have that on, just by chance, is decent for kiss cutting a sticker. So now I just need to find a setting to cut all the way through the paper. Oh my god, the relief. And then I can, oh my god, and then I have to figure out how to print and cut. But one thing at a time, let's figure out how much pressure I need on the blade to cut through. I knew it'd be something basic, but luckily, uh, since I've overcome that hurdle, I am speeding ahead. So I just now need to figure out how to print and cut, and it might be time to revisit YouTube and see if someone can help me out there. So we need to come up to our page set. Um, I'm gonna be using my regular printer with regular copy paper. So I'm gonna have to click um, this drop down arrow and click letter. All right, I set up my print file, put in these registration marks that should help when it comes to cutting it. Um, the colors are a bit off, but this is just the test run. So now I think I can send it to cut out the stickers. Um, it's so awesome. So, it's going to take some tweaking, but I have pretty much kind of figured it out. I'm going to now just do um, the individual stickers, but I feel like I know what I'm doing now. Um, but yeah, in the future I will mess around with the colours, make sure that everything's lined up properly. I'm really happy! So cool, I love this. I'm going to do a few more practice rounds just so that I know that I've got the hang of it, do some tweaking, get everything lined up properly, get the colors right. Uh, but I need to not go overboard because I don't know how many people are actually gonna want these. By the time you're watching this, my Patreon will be live. So if you do want these stickers, these stickers or any of the prints you saw before or even an original painting, all the different tier levels will be explained over there. I'll leave a link below. And if you do want the vintage botanical themed set, um, anyone that pledges any time during March, you can, this is what you're gonna get basically. But the theme is gonna change every month. I'm really looking forward to even maybe taking requests, different, I don't know, different things. It's been really fun just having a creative project to work on like this, just coming up with ideas. Um, I'm back doing the kind of thing that I love doing, which is just making stuff and uh, it'll be fun to do all the packaging as well because you know that's just my favorite thing it's been good even though this was stressful now that I've got it figured out I'm I'm feeling good about it feeling really excited to see what else I can make I have to thank Sarika again if it wasn't for her and her video I think this would have taken me weeks uh, so I'll leave a link below to her video to her YouTube channel to her shop um, to her Instagram, just send her some love, she's amazing. Um, and the stuff she makes is gorgeous, check out her shop. Um, also, I'll leave any links below to any other videos that I found useful in this whole process. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I am going to spend the rest of the evening slash night slash wee hours of the morning having more fun with these stickers, seeing what I can come up with. But um, it's, it's meant a lot that you've spent this time with me. If you can't follow me over on Patreon or you just don't want to, just you watching this video is more than enough support. So thank you so much for being here and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye. Bye.